I think the big factor in addressing Indigenous disadvantage, whatever you want to call it, is once you get some good things in place, like parents doing something productive, meaning meaningful jobs, kids in school, a lot of those other symptoms of bad behaviour, suicide, that sort of thing, will start to evaporate. So when I heard the Minister for Aboriginal Affairs saying that she would ask the voice to focus on education, health, jobs and housing in remote areas, all good things, and everybody said, well that's good. But my argument would be if you don't firstly address the safety, emotional, physical, moral safety of children brought into the world first, no use addressing those other issues because those young people are not going to be able to take advantage of it. Sure. Uh, we need to intervene at various stages and at various mm. levels.